Lainey can certainly become frustrated when she's not able to do something or if something doesn't go her way. And she has never been a person who strikes out at others. She doesn't become aggressive toward other people, but she will turn that aggression on herself. Lainey will develop a strong relationship. Usually it's reciprocal because of Lainey. Lainey is very likable. And you have a birthday coming up. Yeah. I'm going to have a party. How old are you going to be? I'm going to be 47. I'm going to be 47. Lainey had kind of a rough start to life. When she was five hours old, she had her first seizure and I could hear the nurses or people running in the halls, and I didn't know what was going on, but I just had a sense that something was wrong with my baby. And then in the morning, they uh, came in and said that they didn't think she would live. We were told she would probably never walk never talk, maybe never roll over. And she did still have seizures. Um, but then they stopped. And she did crawl. And she did stand up. And she did walk at the normal time. But cognitively, we could see there was a delay. When she was five and using the term transitioning from preschool to uh, a grade school, is when she was diagnosed with autism. When Lainey's sister went to college, my husband and I decided this might be the time to help Lainey transition into a different setting. People would tell us, when your son or daughter is in public school, you don't have a clue as to how good you've got it. Because once you transition into adulthood and all of a sudden the services either are different, have fallen away, it's a shock. When we decided that it would be in our and Laney's best interest to find a residential place for her to live, what sure as heck wasn't her idea. It was challenging. You know, you can't play trial and error because you're playing with her life. She lives on campus and she has three roommates. Um, she gets along with them. She is, knows all their names, knows most of their parents' names. On campus, we'll typically have two AM staff, two PM staff, and an overnight staff. So she's constantly getting that round of clock care. Jordan is my I've worked with Lenny now for eight years, and I've come to understand Lenny, and I don't see her as a person with disability. Nice. I treat yeah. her like any other person. For Lenny, transitioning from one place to another, it may take her some time uh, before it sinks in for her to transition, but once she gets to that point, she will go. You don't want to force her. Well, I, we can't go because I already called. I put the phone down at Nancy here to me that we are just going to do some quick. Well, well we can't. We can't back. work. I can't work because I had a, my mom. She wanted me to ask Angie a question. When Lenny goes to work, most of the time she vacuums in the main office here at Balance Autism, and she also wipes down the windows. I feel like sometimes. She maybe doesn't get enough credit, like she's really smart and she knows what's going on around her. At the end of the day, she's a person too. I feel like that gets lost sometimes. Like we have, yeah, she has autism, but she has this personality, this very big personality. Surely, surely we can do that together. We could cooperate surely together. Could that cooperate. Sounds, sounds, sounds like a wonderful idea. Okay. That's so wonderful. Lady is very social. 
once she gets to know you and trust you and has made a connection with you, she's very affectionate. Yeah. She gives Thank the best you. hugs in the world. I would say Lainey has excellent social skills overall. She has lived in the same home for 24 years with three other women. Those ladies are very involved in going to the movies, out to eat. They have been volunteering at Blank Park Zoo and have enjoyed that. And she said she loved me. Family is super important to Lainey. She is constantly talking about them. She loves her sister Angie so much. Angie is married and has two children, and Lainey loves her niece and her nephew and her brother-in-law. Angie and Chris can't go. How does it make you feel? It makes me exciting to her. It makes me exciting to her. Lainey's dad died more than 11 years ago, so that was very difficult for her not to have her dad in her life anymore. When she comes here and spends the day or even um, overnight, or when it's time to return to her home, in the over 25 years that she has no longer lived yeah, with yeah, me. Too. Oh my goodness. She it's never easy. She got me another CD and it's another, it's another, it's another CD. Is that CD in your bag? Yeah, but can you tell her the one you found it? It's the other one. The Simon and Garfunkel? The, the transition from my car into where she lives is extremely difficult. I know that once she's back in the routine, she's okay. She likes where she is. It used to be something I totally dreaded was having to take her back and see her almost despair at leaving me. How are you doing? Well, I have to. Well, I have to go visit Edith. She probably, and I don't like it here. Lady had well, a well, birthday. Well, my birthday. You tell him. Uh, today is my. Tell me about today it. is my. Today is my birthday. What is? I am not going to be here How? on this holiday. <laughs> and she is having. I have to have a picture. I don't with believe. Angie. When I took my cell phone to record Lainey going to the dentist, she really didn't pay any attention to me at all you know she was so focused on not Open. not opening her mouth she didn't care what i was doing can we see your teeth real quick we can't see them when your lips are closed yeah. having a health care professional touch her make her do things that she doesn't want to do probably will continue to be a struggle Mother, you better the word help, and that's, that's where Olivia, she needs to be. Well, she has to say help. But because we see Dr. Jacobson, who has the patience and genuine respect for Lainey and Lainey's inability to behave like any other patient, it makes that trip so much easier. How about one more look here? In her mid-40s, another thing that I think about as, as a young woman is going through menopause. I brought this. Hot flashes. Yeah, Will that be an issue for Lainey her. as she goes on into her 50s? You know, her hair is graying. You're doing a great job. And Angie and I used to joke and say, Lainey is never going to be great. What comes in the 60s? What comes when I'm not here? Which is certainly something that I think, put it in your basket. you know, we all think about. Yeah. There. It's in the basket. Yeah. And I started saying something to Lainey about death. 
How will she incorporate that into her life when my red car that she still calls a Jeep, which it is not, doesn't come up the driveway anymore? You know, how will she figure that out? And I'm not going to be there to help. with that. You want to show us what's inside your purse? Well, sure I could do that. I think it's important to help others feel comfortable talking with your child with a disability. The acceptance is something that is so important to all of us. This program is part of the Move to Include initiative, made possible with support from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. The Max and Helen Guernsey Charitable Foundation, in support of educational programming on statewide Iowa PBS.